They say love is blind, and he says I went blind when I loved. But what does he do? Here he loved, and it happened. What happened? And here he is sitting in his room to write again. I am Halid Hosni, 28 years old, a graduate of the Cairo Faculty of Commerce six years ago. My country is called Al Baho Frick belonging to the Dekalia Governorate, and today I was refused to marry my girlfriend for the eighth time, and for the same reason. Then he looked at the wall, he hung the paper next to seven other papers, which seemed to hang at earlier times. The first paper had his name, age and country written on it. I was refused to marry my beloved today. Next to it is a second sheet. I was refused for the second time. And the third paper where he was rejected for the third time. And so on until the seventh paper. Then he leaned his back back and looked up, and his memories returned to six years ago when he was studying in the last year at the university and fate wanted him to meet Mona. His joy increased when he learned that she was studying at the same university in her first year, and since that day, they have met many times, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Until he woke up from his memories and exhaled a strong exhalation when he looked at a large paper that he hung on the wall below the eight papers on which he wrote. I was refused for the same reason. Mona's crazy father. When Halet heard the word crazy, he always remembered Mona's father, and I think not only him, but all the townspeople, but he knew his madness the most. Since he finished his studies and determined to propose to Mona, he was surprised on the first visit of her engagement. He looks at him strangely and asks him, Do you want to marry Mona? Yes. And he asked him again, What have you done in your life? Kilt's face turned red and he was upset as if he didn't expect his question until he responded, What have I done in my life? Actually, I am a graduate of the Faculty of Commerce of Cairo University and sir, you know that my parents died when I was little and I lived with my grandfather and exempted from the army and currently looking for a suitable job. He interrupted him. What is the difference between you and others to deserve to marry my daughter? He then ended it by refusing. Haled thought at the time that the reason he was rejected for the first time was that he did not find the right job, but he realized that maybe it wasn't quite that when he found a job and went to engage Mona again, until he was rejected a second time and the same question of father, what have you done in your life and how different from others? This question did not find an adequate answer to him until the eighth time he asked for marriage. I've never done anything in my life. Do what then? I know you fought at 73. Do you think this is a reason to humiliate us? Well, you want your daughter a hero. Tell me how to become a hero. Go to fight in Iraq to be happy. Then he looked at him and anger appeared in his eyes. I will marry Mona. I mean it. I'm going to marry her. You are compelled to it. I'm going to marry her. The whole town knows this man's eccentricities. He wants to make his only daughter marry a unique person. What kind of unique person is this? No one knows, everyone knows the fate of only his spinsterhood daughter. As long as her father is that guy. However, the surrender did not touch Halid's heart. And he thought only of that thing that makes him unique. And makes him worthy of Mona as her father wants. But what is it? He doesn't know, all he could do is pray to God to take her. Although Halut was characterized by lightness and cheerful spirit, but his love for Mona and her father's constant rejection of him made sadness. A permanent scarf on his face, even his grandfather noticed, who was approaching his 80th year. They had been living together since the death of Kilt's parents. He was very sad after being rejected that time. He approached and asked him, You're still sad? You're supposed to be used to? Halid responded. I can't imagine seeing her with anyone but me. And I don't know what her father wants. 
He doesn't know that the time of miracles is over. And you're gonna sit next to me with your hand on your cheek? Well, what can I do? The grandfather laughed, caressing him. No, it's better for you to bury yourself in the crypt. Kilt's eyes shone as if he remembered something. Cracked. And he continued. Grandpa, do you remember when I was little? When I was crying? You were telling me about the story of the crypt that existed in our country and that you have descended to it from 50 years ago. Grandfather replied smiling. Yes, for sure I remember when you was crying. Do you like to remind you of your days? Pludlotted. No, talk to me about the crypt and when you went down to it. His grandfather was silent, remembering. Oh, these days it's been a while. We were four young guys who love adventure. We have heard a lot about a treasure found in a crypt passing through our country and that the crypt was a large storehouse for the rich at the time of any invasion. Everyone knew that the crypt really existed, but no one tried to go down to it because it is haunted by goblins and whoever entered it will not return. But we threw this talk behind our back and we decided that we should get down. We knew that the crypt's door was in an abandoned house in the country, and there's a big rock on that door, and on the night we trusted God, and we went to this house in secret. We were able to move the rock and started descending one by one, and with each one a gas lamp. After walking down a long staircase, we found ourselves in a tunnel. We walked many steps in this tunnel until we found ourselves unable to take a breath and suddenly the gas lamps all went out at once, and one of us shouted, A goblin! And then we ran outside, and our knees hit each other, and from that time no one thought to go down there. Pludlotted, but a beautiful memory will remain. It's enough that you were not afraid to get down. Grandfather jokingly raised his eyebrows. Don't say that to anyone. Pled then returned to his room and tried to sleep, but he did not blink an eyelid. He thinks a lot about what his grandfather told him. He knows that what he heard sounds like a myth, but the crypt already exists, and his grandfather never lies. Then he suddenly looked at the paper with the reason for Mona's father's refusal written on it. He wants a unique person, someone satisfies his madness and he told himself that he would not marry anyone but Mona, otherwise he would not marry, then his voice raised. What would happen if I went down to the crypt anyway? Suppose there is a treasure that already exists. Then he shut up. He talked to himself as if someone else was talking to him. Treasure what? That's crazy talk! Do not forget that the crypt is haunted by goblins and ghosts! And then, he came back again. If I'm a coward, I don't deserve Mona. Do you love this life of yours? A graduate of a commerce university, and your work is not related to commerce. You studied for four years in order to graduate and work in a medication store. If you hadn't been living with your grandfather for a long time, your salary would have expired in half a month. If you love Mona, prove to yourself and her that you really love her. If you find this treasure, you will be the most famous one in this country. No! In Egypt! No! In the whole world! Even if I didn't find it, enough that you tried! Then he got up from his bed and he took out a picture of Mona. He looked at her and said, I'm going down to this crypt. I'll come down no matter what. And even if your father is crazy, a lot of the time I become the crazy itself. 